What's going on everyone? Steve here from stevekrauslessons.com. Thank you so much for checking out the video and following me along on this guitar journey. Today's video, I wanted to tackle the age old debate of what guitar should you start out playing? Should it be an electric guitar or should it be an acoustic guitar? That is the question that I am asked almost every time someone is thinking about starting lessons, what guitar should I start on? Now my advice is very subjective, so take it with a grain of salt, but the biggest piece of advice that I'd like to offer you before you purchase any guitar of your own is to make sure that you play it before you buy it. This way you'll know that you're comfortable playing it and it's not going to be something that you're going to regret purchasing. Now depending where you go for your lesson, some people will tell you that you have to start on an acoustic guitar and you can't play an electric until your fingers are strong enough. While everyone has their own separate teaching methods, I firmly believe in whatever gets you playing and whatever makes you comfortable while you play, that's what guitar you should go with. You know, the electric guitar, yes, it's easier to play because the surface area of the neck is a little bit smaller. The strings are usually a lighter gauge than what are on an acoustic guitar. So that means you're able to fret the notes a lot easier than per se on an acoustic guitar where your gauge is a little bit heavier of the string and you're gonna have to press down just a tiny bit harder on those strings to get a note to come out or you're gonna have to position your hands a little bit differently because the surface area of the neck on an acoustic is a little bit thicker than an electric guitar and especially if you have smaller hands I have pretty small hands for a guitar player to be honest you just want to play what you're comfortable with an electric guitar, you know, things that make it a little bit easier are bending, you know, bending a string. Try bending on the B or G string of an acoustic guitar and it's not going to be nearly as easy as if you bend those same strings on an electric guitar. You'll find yourself bending those a lot further than you would on an acoustic. Uh, a downside, if you want to call it that, is that on the electric guitar, you have to plug in to an amp to get that sound. It's going to be a little bit loud. And if you're in a household or in an apartment complex where you can't necessarily crank up the guitar, it's a little bit frustrating. And with an acoustic guitar, you can play that anywhere and you're going to get an amplified sound from that no matter what. Now I've had lessons in the past where people actually start out on an acoustic guitar because that's what they've heard. That's what they've read or that's what they've been told by a sales associate or someone else and they end up buying an electric guitar because they find it's a lot easier to play on and they're not as discouraged you know it's very discouraging when you're practicing and putting in all this work and things aren't coming out as clean because you know just it's a different playability style on each guitar and when they switch over to an electric, you can kind of see that progress pick up a little bit and you know the smiles start to show on their face a bit because they're a little bit more encouraged than they were on say the acoustic because they were having trouble getting those notes to come out clearly. Um, that's really the benefits to each, the cons, you know, each, each guitar is gonna have its pros and its con. And like I said before, what it really, really comes down to is whatever gets you playing, whatever you're comfortable with, and whatever makes practice and fun for you. I started out personally on an electric guitar, and it wasn't until later on that I switched to an acoustic, and it was kind of night and day, yes, but you know, they're both fun. They, Like I said, they both have their pros and cons, and just honestly, whatever gets you playing, and whatever gets you just having fun, practicing, feeling encouraged to go into each practice session, not dreading it because, well, what if this note's not coming out today? So it's just pick one, see what you like, go into a music store, any music shop, and just go and play on an acoustic, go and play on an electric. Even if you've never played before, just go and press down on the strings, you know, see which one you feel a little bit more comfortable pressing down on try and just you know see which is more comfortable that's really all it comes down to so like I said in my advice before my biggest takeaway from this video that I want you to have is to make sure that you're playing what you're gonna purchase 
Don't just go and buy an acoustic guitar and then feel like you regret it a week later because it's too hard. Don't go and buy an electric guitar and then feel discouraged because you can't crank your amp up to 10 and, you know, disrupt your neighbors. So go play, just map each one out, see which one you enjoy more, and that should be the guitar that you end up buying. Thank you for checking out the video, and I hope it was insightful and gave you some knowledge as to which guitar you th you're thinking about buying. Make sure to pass it along to anyone who's actually thinking about buying a guitar and maybe starting lessons and they're a little unsure of which one to get. And maybe they'll find this video pretty helpful on which one and it will make their guitar purchasing experience a lot smoother. Make sure you let me know in the comment section down below if you found the video insightful. Make sure to follow me on all forms of social media at Steve Krause Lessons on Instagram and Facebook. Make sure to hit the subscribe button and you will stay up to date with all of my latest videos. So thank you for checking it out and I will see you guys next time.